Hello guys, I'm Madeline. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I will show you uh, a new feature in Blender 3.2 um, for the caustics. Now let's say you, you want to render a pool scene and that's what you get out of the bat. Something is missing. As you can see, if you take reference, uh, every pool with other has uh, this sort of caustics going on. And your render it's just looking like that. Now you can add caustics and that's more accurate. Let me show you how uh, how you can do it. First off, you need to have uh, cycles as, as the render engine. I set it in set it on uh, GPU. Let's get a simple plane and. Uh, I will make a circle, some kind of a glass shape, nothing too complicated. Just like that. And now for the uh, for the materials, I'm gonna go with a simple glass for, for the moment, for our, for our purpose. A simple glass shader, it's enough. And uh, of course we need the light. So I will add the point light, let me get it like this, and uh, nothing nothing has changed pretty much, Let get, let's get the strength up, and it's looking still like before, where uh, there are some uh, settings you, you need to check for, for the caustics to work. You are going into object properties and uh, in shading, now you have two, two boxes to, to check. So for the glass object, it's cast shadow caustics. And for the plane or any surface, it's receive shadow caustics. Now one last step, it's uh, on the light switch also shadow caustics. And now we are getting some some shadow caustics. Let's, let's crank up the, the power from the light. And now we are getting caustics. Now the caustics are not, are not stopping here. Let's say uh, you wanna do it with an HDRI. So it's also available for the, for the HD, HDRI. Let me get on HDRI. That's gonna be it. For the moment it's like before. You go to settings and enable shadow caustics. And now you have caustics also from the HDRIs. Now let me show you how uh, we can create a pool. Let's scale this. Control A for scale. We are enable editing. Insert the face getting it somewhere like like here and uh, we are gonna take the edges so the bottom it's smooth something like that shade smooth and uh, into the normals auto smooth that's gonna be the pool we are getting a simple plane we scale it somewhere like that, get it into the position and uh, we are gonna need some uh, some polygons for it, some resolution I'm gonna add this we go into modifiers and uh, we add an ocean modifier <laughs> now it messed up everything I go to, the, to displacement get some more resolutions Shades mode also, and uh, I will put a subdivide modifier. Maybe it first. Now, uh, now we are gonna need a smaller scale. So we go like this, but everything is messing up. We change the spatial size. Something that's not messing up. All the planes here. We go into waves, scale, 
and also we get some choppiness something like that let's see how different spatial sizes are looking this one looks good more resolution if I should divide that's pretty pretty good 4 is too much I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it like that and uh, let's add more things into I'm gonna select all the faces from here and uh, and we duplicate it like that P for uh, selection to, se to separate the selection and we are getting another object we scale it a little bit from here and uh, this here scaled also A for selecting all we go like this now that's a, a good top for a pool let me also get a plane so this pool it's inside of the surface it's not going over like the plane just starting from, from the bottom of it I will select these objects get it somewhere around here scale more the plane apply the scale now I will insert the face and somewhere around here it's fine just an extrusion looks pretty fine I will add the bevel modifier for the for this edges to be more smooth because after all it's a it's a pool you don't need hard edges you you are supposed to have smooth edges and I'll uh, put a weighted normal ju just for its look to stay straight on on this face and now let's get to the materials also enable cycles and GPU I will get the the basic material for the glass something like that and uh, let me set up an HDRI environment texture open and uh, from here I will select this one now let's take a look at what we are having so we can set them into object shading cast caustics now I select the, the other object if it's gonna let me to do that receive, ca uh, receive shadow caustics also for this maybe and uh, into settings shadow caustics and these are our caustics now uh, for a pool usually pool it's having that that pattern so we can recreate that sort of a pattern I'll go to shader editor and here I will go for a brick texture let's take a look at it now the offset it's gonna be to one so every till it's every tile it's aligned and uh, 0.5 so they are perfectly rectangular and for the colors I will go with a white a light blue and kind of a darker blue now for the scale I will go with a bigger scale let's say 22 this looks fine so I will disable the material from, from this maybe to differentiate it the floor it's, it's gonna be another color something like that now let's go into the camera enable camera camera to view we align the camera let's go with something like that and 
we can hit render to take a look of our uh, result and that's our result that's perfect that's better than ever now i hope you enjoyed enjoyed the video please give me a like it will be so helpful and if you want to see more subscribe i will get videos three times a week if you are interested in other videos i will leave two here and the rest bye